Right, good afternoon everybody. It's Thursday. It is. Ten past two. This is about the tenth video that I'm going to make. I think I have to do things and then video it afterwards because my camera keeps turning itself off. So, let's get into it. I have made myself... Oh, there's a robin there, look. You see it? I've made myself a worm farm. dark around here but there it is now there you can see there's some bamboo which has been screwed from the side there that's to keep that from touching the bottom and all the juices hopefully is going to go into there inside this one I've drilled five holes I'm going to have to show you this properly another day. And I put some wood, two pieces of wood, so that these two don't touch. And in here, I've drilled holes in the top for air holes. And in the bottom there, I've drilled loads of holes. I've actually been round my allotment picking up worms. I got about 20 to 30 of them. So, we'll see what happens with it. I will, like I said, I'll show you it another day. I'm just going to have to do short videos, that's all there is to it. Because if I leave it on pause for too long, it just turns itself off. Now, who wants some kohlrabi? Because all of that <laughs> is kohlrabi. I'll be able to give it away to people um, around the plots. In here, we've got, that's a rose, that's a bramble. I'm going to sell these. That's my cat mint. I've got thyme there. I've got a potato growing there. I had in there early lettuces, no, early cabbage. And here I had turnips, which I've planted out already. Beetroot. And some other bits here. Okay, this is the apple tree that I rescued. And as you can see, it's got some lovely buds on it. <sighs> I've got other plants growing here. I've got flowers. These are all like broccoli and stuff. I've got a lot of cress growing there because I like cress in an egg sandwich. My raspberry, which is a summer fruiting one, which has gone all the way across there, which I wanted to pull out, but we'll see what it does. This has got all nice new little buds on. Lovely little buds. And that one as well. This is my pear tree. This was the mysterious bulbs that I got, and that is growing. It could be a gladi, a gladioli, we're not sure. This is my pear tree. This has got nice buds on it that's coming out. It's a lovely day today. I did have some strawberries growing in there, so I took them out and planted them further down there so we'll show you in a minute this tree I ain't got a clue what it is but I thought I might use it for oh, what do you call it when you put another branch on it I can't remember 
but we'll see. I might, I might try putting another tree onto that. I can't remember what they call it. Right, I've planted some beetroot in here. In here, I've planted them potatoes. I think they're Charlotte. And I've put that mesh in round, you know, like I have done at the garden. I've put the mesh in round, and what I'm going to do is, every time I get some of um, Eli's bed in is hay, I'm just going to put that in there, so it'll be like a potato tower, kind of. What I've done here is, because I put all that chipwood on my raspberries, Terry said that it might take all the nitrogen out of the soil so I haven't dug it in it's just laid on top so what I've done on this side just as an experiment I've put some Epsom salts in and that side I haven't so let's see how that goes the strawberries that I got from the other pot I've put some in here and I've put some in here. So let's see how they get on. I've just been given this massive tart. My onions, they're not going to grow as big as they were last year. And I know why, because I didn't get, I didn't get the big sets. So I'm still getting them. They are growing really well. Right, coming down here, this bin I am putting in like brambles, the bramble clippings uh, and any other like ivy, any other horrible weed, I'm putting it in there and letting it rot down and using that as fertiliser. Right, my little army oh, rhubarb is coming on brilliantly. That one is anyway. There's another two popping up, one there and one there. This is my little flower garden, which is coming on nicely. All the daffodils have come up. Haven't planted on anything on this side yet, and I've still got to get a face for my scarecrow. This, I, it's very, very clayey. So what I did is I put a load of sand on top that somebody had that they didn't want. So I put that on top and then I've got this manure which I have just laid it on top. It's not fully rotted down but I'm going to plant my pumpkins, squashes and hopefully melons. I've got some melons growing so we'll see how they come on. Here is my elephant garlic. There's nothing showing at the minute. I might have just planted it a little bit too deep. I do normally plant it deep, but I think this year I might have planted it a little bit too deep. But we'll see, there's still time for it to come up. There's more onions, red and white. And at the end there is potatoes. This is that bean trellis that I planted, uh, that I that I put up, and I have put loads of little beans in there at the bottom. Let's just see if they come up. This is another tree that I rescued. This is like a golden delicious. Now it's got little buds on it, so hopefully that will grow. You can see one of my potatoes there is growing, but the rest aren't yet. They will grow when they're ready to grow. When they're ready, they will come up. Here again, I've put some beans in the ground. Don't know what I'm doing this yet. I think I'm gonna do my cucumbers here like I did last year, just planted them in the ground and let them grow. These are Lady Di. 
So they're stringless runner beans. And these are enorma, so they should grow long. Let's see. I'm really fed up that I have to do videos like this because I got half, I was um, filming my growing of my, no, the making of my worm farm and it just stopped, it just kept turning itself on. So when I built my worm farm, I did go around here and lifted this paper up looking for the red wrigglers. So I got quite a few of them, don't know how many. In here, I've got lettuce growing. And in that one, I've got carrots and spring onion. And in that one, I've got the radishes. So they're coming on quite well. I've got, I think it's English breakfast and the ladyfinger ones, you know, the big long white ones can't really remember. Right, haven't done too much in there at the minute. I'm still picking the kale. It's only baby curly kale, but somebody's enjoying it. In here, I've got one broccoli growing at the moment, which I planted, which I planted in the cold frame last year and it decided to come up this year. These are all turnips that I've got growing. And my, is it La Rosa? Lettuce? They're coming on lovely. Today I've just planted some kohlrabi in there. And in here, the other day, I planted earliest of all cabbage and they were from Anne. So thank you, Anne. I might have planted them a little bit too close together, but we'll see. We will see. My climbing rose, which I can't remember what it's called, that is coming on really well. So I've just brought these seeds out um, to get a bit of fresh air. So we've got red cabbage, cauliflower, Giant sunflower, lobelia. And this, I can't believe, this has grown. See there? That has grown all the way up to there in a couple of weeks. So, ah, oh, that's one of them flowers with a great, uh, one of them plants with a great big flowers on. Can't remember what it's called. My head today, honestly, I'm not... I'm not happy with this camera whatsoever. I really aren't. And I've started some stock off here. I love the smell of it and they're all growing. And did I say I've got cress there? I can't remember because I've done this video about five to 10 times. And I thought I'm not just not gonna bother, but I did. I'm not going to stop it. I'm not going to pause it or anything. Now I've got broccoli coming up in all these here, which is nice. I've got some spaghetti squash there. I've got two, that one and that one, which I'm not got, I haven't got a clue what's in it. These are marigolds, which seem to be wilting a bit. There's only that one that's all right. But yes, so... Like I said, I don't put it on pause because it'll just disappear again. And all the bulbs are coming up in here. They're them rude words ones. Mr. Yeah, them. Right, so I am going to go now. I'm going to keep trying with this phone. Um, if not, I will try with a camera that I've got which I just might be able to film with, I'm gonna have to try it out. So from sunny Weymouth, where I'm really fed up, I am unfed up.
I shall see you all later. Bye-bye.